Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. Good morning from Indianapolis, Indiana. I just checked out of my hotel here in Indianapolis. I have one more concert tonight, and then I'm heading back home to Memphis, Tennessee immediately after. Tonight in Indianapolis, I am seeing Arm's Length, Carly Cosgrove, Ben Quad, and Saturdays at Your Place at the Hoosier Dome. If you don't know, I have seen Arm's Length and Carly Cosgrove open up for Knuckle Puck in this same exact venue in Indianapolis, the Hoosier Dome. So I'm excited to see them there again. I thought it was a great venue, even though they don't have alcohol there. It seems like a, I don't know what to call this type of venue, but it's a cool venue though. Other than that, I have no plans for Indianapolis today. Let's go be a tourist. Let's go see what there is to see here in Indianapolis. Let's get this video started. Vamos, y'all. Great hotel, Super 8 in Southport. If you're ever in Indianapolis, it's not a bad hotel. $75 a night. You might can get a better deal on Airbnb if I would have planned this trip a little bit more. I probably could have saved some money, but it is what it is. I probably could have got a full apartment here in Indianapolis for $75 a night. Oh, well. I have these car magnets on my car, but you have no idea how I'm not one to really want attention, even though that's basically the premise of a YouTube channel is getting attention, right? Or else, I mean, I'm not making these videos to talk to nobody, right? I'm not making these videos to show them to nobody. But I get so anxious and what's the word? I get so awkward when people notice me but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone because the more that happens the more the more I'll get used to it and the better for me might even improve my social skills I know I'm terrible at socializing I have horrible social anxiety horrible but I'm working on it one step at a time y'all one step at a time So I stopped at Culver's. I've never been here before. I asked the girl working at the counter, what is the best thing they have here? What, is, what does she recommend? First she said everything here is good. And then she recommended the fish sandwich or the Northern Atlantic cod sandwich. At first I was going to turn my nose up at it because I wasn't really feeling seafood today. But what's the point of asking that kind of a question? if you're not gonna take them up on their recommendation. So, that's what I got. A Northern Cod sandwich. Let's check it out. It's good. It's good, but it needs some sauce. What kind of sauce does it need? I don't know. Kinda dry. I need some sauce to spruce it up a bit. What about the fries? I need ketchup. Let me go get me, let me go get me some ketchup. Stop! You're making a scene. You're coming at me with blood in your teeth. You shouldn't be anything like me. 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 You'll never be anything like me. You shouldn't be anything like me! Love me some poppy. I am in downtown Indianapolis. There's supposed to be a neat looking canal somewhere down this way. I thought I'd go check it out, check more of Indianapolis out, more than I showed in my last video in Indianapolis, or my last trip to Indianapolis about two or three years ago.
I have made my way to the Central Canal here in Indianapolis. I know the people here in Indianapolis like to call their city Indy, but this is only like my third or fourth trip to Indianapolis, so I don't feel like I have that personal connection to Indianapolis to call it Indy. But if you want me to call it Indy instead of Indianapolis, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Nice little walkway. I wonder where it leads to. I bet that water is absolutely freezing. Right now it's only about maybe 45 degrees out. Winter is still in the air here in Indianapolis. I'm not quite sure what the weather is in Memphis, but when I left, it was like 70 degrees. So. If y'all want to warm up Indianapolis, make y'all's way down to Memphis, Tennessee. Bring a bulletproof vest though, because Memphis is not a safe city. Like, I love it when people from Memphis try to act like I'm going somewhere extremely dangerous when I'm going to Mexico or El Salvador or Colombia. <laughs> Do you realize where we live? I know what you're saying. Well, you're from Memphis, you know where to and where not to go. Well, even in the places where you should be safe in Memphis, you can have problems. Just like that. I can't really stop with my left hand. Let me try it with my right hand. There we go. You got some benches if you just want to chill out, enjoy the canal. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. I don't have a drink or anything, so I'll pass on that right now. Get my steps in. I really want to cut down to 155 pounds. I weigh a little over 170, so I'm a welterweight if I ever go into the UFC. But I don't even want to. I don't even want to fight at lightweight if I'm going to fight the UFC. I want to fight at flyweight. Only five foot three, so I need all the advantages I can get. And even at 125, I'm gonna get my ass beat by Steve Urseg. If to those who say Steve Urseg does not deserve the title shot at UFC 301 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, you're full of it. I'm sure everyone in that top nine, one either they don't they don't deserve it after their last performance or They've already fought Alexander Pantoja, so it doesn't make any sense for for it to happen. And then you got Ramadan, so there goes half the fighters in the top nine anyways. So Steve Ursag makes a lot of sense, and don't sleep on him. I'm telling you, he might be your UFC flyweight champion very soon. I like the vibe here in Indianapolis. It's a good vibe.
I forgot to take a video of the venue before the show. But anyways, here is Carly Cosgrove and Arm's Length. And I apologize, there's no video footage of Saturdays at Your Place and Ben Quad because I was a little too far back and I'm only five foot three, so I did not have the best of view for those two bands. to conclude my trip to Indianapolis and Indiana I had a great few days here in the state of Indiana seeing Scott Stapp seeing Poppy and Avenged Sevenfold and seeing Arms Length and Carly Cosgrove for the most part I had a great time I wish more memorable things happened outside of the concerts but what can you do? Uh, my next trip is going to probably be to Birmingham, Alabama for another couple of concerts. Maybe just one, I'm not sure. For sure, Charlotte Sands. And I'm also thinking about going to a, like a grindcore type concert. Wrist Meat Razor. I'm not fully committed to that one yet. Depends how I'm feeling at the time. We'll see. If I get that itch to want to go to more concerts I'll go if not not a big deal so thank y'all for tuning in to these videos you know what at this point at this stage in my YouTube career I'm just going to raw dog these videos no lube no foreplay just getting straight to the action you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes sometimes the loo and the foreplay it's not really needed and uh, I felt like I was concentrating too much on that aspect of my channel to where it was burning me the hell out what's the lube probably the views the views is probably the lube what is the foreplay the foreplay is probably the preparing for the videos, the trying to decide what I should do for the videos. The last few days, everything I've done on video was spur of the moment. It was not planned. I didn't say, hey, let's go here for the video, specifically for the video. No. 
the video just came as an afterthought. So, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, and uh, we'll see what it. We'll, we'll we'll see the direction of my channel soon enough, especially when I start going internationally. Even though I'm not quite sure the plans on this international trip that I have lined up in the middle of May all the way through the middle of June. Kind of a birthday trip at the tail end of it, but I have a flight to Guadalajara and then I have a flight back home from Mexico City, so it could be a full-on Mexico trip. Very well could be. I'm trying to just play by ear, no expectations. If everything seems on the up and up, maybe I'll stay in Mexico. And even if I venture out of Mexico to Costa Rica or Colombia, it doesn't mean it's not on the up and up. It just means I don't have any anything to stay for long term. Although, um, let me actually just talk about it right now. Um, when I went to Guadalajara, I went to a restaurant. I'm not going to say the restaurant because I have some weird ass viewers on my channel sometimes. And they'll go out of their way to try to manipulate and sabotage my life in any way they possibly can. But... There was this girl working at the restaurant and she wasn't my waitress. There, there was a, someone else that was my waiter and I always leave my business card on the table. I didn't think anything of it. And there was this girl that kept liking my photos on Instagram and my story. She was the only one that liked my story today. So I went on her profile and I commented on one of her pictures. I didn't recognize her. I just, I complimented her. She's gorgeous. And uh, I didn't know she was a girl from this particular restaurant until I messaged her asking her where you're from. And she said where she's from. She said where she knows me from. And then it all of a sudden clicked. Exact, I knew exactly who she was after that. And I was like, you know what? I'm not opposed to seeing how that goes. I'm already going to be in Guadalajara anyways this time. I'm not specifically going to Guadalajara for her. So I don't feel like if it doesn't pan out, I'm not wasting my time, energy, and money on anything. Because I'm already going there. You, you know exactly why I'm saying that if you've been following my channel for a while. The last time I was in Guadalajara, it's kind of a wasted trip. All for somebody in the past. Although, maybe everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, and maybe that reason is the girl that I met at the restaurant. Alright, this talking bit has gone on long enough I'll see you in the next trip I have about six hours until I am home I'm probably gonna stop halfway through and get some sleep see ya adios what's up well nothing much i've been losing touch the past few months it's all at once if only for a moment and how the fuck do you show tough love i'm not that tough i can't take much is it just my luck what if this all pans out like you said and I outlive all my family and friends. All right. Adios. 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 Sayonara. Say la vie.